So generally when we're talking about burnout, we're talking about um, an effect of chronic stress over time and ongoing physical, mental, and emotional fatigue, as well as uh, and generally a, a negative outlook toward one's uh, job and the ability to do one's job. Uh, and although it's not um, a diagnosis, it is a, a state that does require attention. So when we think about what's happening to us physiologically when we feel stressed, uh, we go into a, uh, a threat state. So our central nervous system will respond uh, to, and put us into a fight or flight mode. And so this is a production of uh, hormones like adrenaline and other hormones. It increases our blood pressure, our heart rate, and our respiration. Uh, and this is a highly helpful adaptive state to be in if we're faced with a difficult or even dangerous situation and we have to react quickly. However, if this response is getting triggered repeatedly over time, in, as it is in chronic stress, uh, this is highly exhausting to our system and taxing. And over time, this can lead to burnout. So yeah, so when we think about um, gender and burnout, all genders can experience stress uh, and then burnout, of course, as well. Um, but there are some gender-related findings in the research. And one example is that uh, women are more likely to be balancing multiple roles, multiple caregiving roles uh, in maybe with childcare, caring for elders or others alongside their, their, their paid work uh, outside their home as well. And this can put them in a, in a higher risk situation for burnout over time. Also, women are more likely to be in a, a lower status job. And so in lower status jobs, uh, there tends to be less uh, decision-making power and, uh, and less autonomy. And those are important factors. Uh, and if they're not there um, or there's less of that, that can impact your job satisfaction and your efficacy in your, in your role. So identifying burnout can actually be challenging. Um, and that's because it's not something you kind of wake up feeling. You don't wake up being burnt out. Um, it's not something that just happens, but it's the effect of an accumulation over time. Uh, and there's also maybe some messages perhaps and expectations from society or even within ourselves that can kind of get in the way uh, of acknowledging or identifying when we're feeling stressed or struggling. For example, maybe the, um, I have to do it myself expectation, um, or making associations, um, between asking for help or getting help uh, and personal weakness. So these are things I think that can also be barriers to kind of reaching out or maybe doing things differently, like shifting priorities around workload. If you're concerned that you might be experiencing burnout, uh, so this is chronic ongoing stress over a period of time. Maybe you're noticing these signs and indicators of having more physical, mental, and or emotional uh, fatigue or pain or complaints. Uh, and also maybe you've noticed that your outlook, um, perspective on your job or your ability to do your job or your interest in activities and responsibilities has shifted towards a more negative one. Talk to your healthcare provider about that. See what kinds of things you might be able to do to help yourself with some of these, um, with some of these kind of uh, signs and, and symptoms, uh, and also to rule out something maybe more serious like depression or anxiety. Mm -hmm.